So there's a Some Ordinary Podcast episode just been released with Nox Taku and Nexpo. <clears throat> no Oompi today. Oompi's taking the day off, guys. Oompi feeling EP. But they talk about the Momo Max stuff. And they talk about... I heard the start of it, and Nox briefly alludes to Magnetar. So we're going to just watch some of this, because it made me rage immediately. <clears throat> Lox Taku Lexpo, that's how I'm feeling. So let's have a look. See how we feel about it. Obviously, I'm not a fan of Nox Taku, not a fan of Mutaha, not a fan of Nexpo. So I worry that... Well, I don't worry. I get the feeling I may just be seething this whole time. But we'll see, we'll see. And we'll probably 1.5 it, because it is... These people are not my favourite. Me, Mudahar, and welcome to another episode of the Some Ordinary Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, Caleb's still got some stuff going on with Sour Boys and everything, so he's he's unavailable for a little minute. But we've got an amazing guest, one of the you know best friends of the channel, Nexpo here, and of course, Nuxtaku, who is my co host. How's it going, guys? Feeling good, bro. Yo, I haven't been paid in 100 episodes. How's it going? <laughs> Dude, I swear to God, we're gonna have to have we're gonna have to get like bills like CFO. <laughs> gonna, hey, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to be reporting you guys for this because because y'all need to pay this man. Come on, like like. Hey, Nux listen, to be that that money day, is lined day. up for a, that money is lined up for a charity. <laughs> is this is he just moved into a new place or is this some gay minimalist setup he's got? Because this is not a fan of this. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Good, good. We're getting, uh, the completionist is going to be the middleman on this one, I think. Yeah. Dude, I, I actually love how brazenly brave that guy. Like, he just decided to come back and upload, like, Mario and Sonic shit, and it's just fine, dude. The like, no, next po and Nox Taku are two different people. Two different people. Dude's getting 90% yeah. dislikes on all of his videos. It's not like he weathered uh, this storm uh, completely. I mean, you know, I. I stand him, dude. Like, I'm down for more completionist content, dude. Bro, I, I love Mario RPG. Go ahead. That, that's like the strat, though. Like, like YouTubers, whenever they get into this shit like this, like, uh, you have one of two things to do is, like, fall off the face of the earth for, like, a year or two, and then come back and get shit on. Or just, you know, keep weathering the storm, like, pulling a mini lad and just pretending nothing happened. And I think he's just trying that. It's not working. Dude, but I mean, like, even the mini lad shit, like, I think it depends on the severity of the crime, because I ain't gonna lie, like, mini lad, every time I open yeah. up his comments, it's just like, <laughs> mini lad likes the mini lads or something. Like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, I love like, that oh. comment. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. like that, that might work for some people, but you can't have your cake and eat it too. Like if he had just started like uploading through it, he probably wouldn't face anything, but he made that shit to your response video and called it a day, dude. Yeah. And that dude, when I saw that response from completionist, like the first thing it was like, all right, hey Carl, do you see how stupid it is? He's like, I know, I know. And then, dude, you know, yeah. it's like, the, the wild thing is though, like YouTube commenters, I'm just gonna say like it is, a lot of people watching YouTube cannot critically think anymore. So when that video came out and I was like, I'm reading the comments, I'm like, yo, they're eating this shit up. What the f and then, oh, like I make a video and everyone, yeah. And then like I make a video. <laughs> you cannot say this. You do not get to say this. You do not get to say this right now. What? Everyone like flips. I'm like, you guys are the worst people. You cannot critically think whatsoever. <laughs> and I don't want to blame the audience anymore. I think I think at the end of the day, it's like, listen. This isn't live, Scanning. You guys f***ed up, but so did I. Because recently something came out where I didn't even critically think properly. And this involves a close friend who you've heard on this channel, Mama Max. Now, we keep a friend of the show. Friend friend of the uh, no, no, no. He's, well, former he's a, former like, friend of the show. He's a public enemy nice number one. one in my eyes, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Max, for those of you who don't know, he's been on our like show a few times. What is with the audio as well? It's like static in the background. Times he's been a close friend. I would say you know he's been a he's been in our friend circle. So to yeah, speak, compulsively right? saying Max is a friend. Very epic. I love Nux Taku. Any other big Nux Taku fans here? Oh, Jelenic Silio. Oh man. And for all of us, um, I don't know how close you were with him, Nux, but me and Ryan, you know, we hung out with him. We stayed with him in places. So. It was a little different for us. I don't know what it was like for you. I, with I, him. I got to know him through through the podcast, basically. I, I don't right. remember who invited him. He was on for Chad like, his Ty Pick Aside Perry YouTube. Pogs. That's when I Chad met him. Ty. I didn't even have his Discord <laughs> info until. Um, <laughs> Thank you for the ten dollars, Simp Man. Thank you. I don't want to throw anyone under the bus, but one of the people that works behind the scenes with our podcast was like, "Oh, hey, Nux, Max wants to talk to you. Can you add him <laughs> on Discord?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure. I don't know." And then this happened. Um, and so it began. <laughs> but I, dude, I feel so bad for like corroborating videos of his in the past, and I just feel so bad. I feel so bad, dude. dude I, I'm so sorry anyone, to anyone who got hate so, because of me. I'm so sorry to anyone who got hate because of me. <laughs> Simp man super chatted ten dollars. Muta Yo, thank you for five gifted too, Simp man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is pathetic. He can't- he's not even naming Magnetar. He is not even naming Magnetar. Yeah, literally will not say his name. So insane. Listen to this again. This is so pathetic. 
This sucks. I hate this guy. Till um, <laughs> I don't want to throw anyone under the bus, but one of the people that works behind Till is on for like I got to know him through through the podcast basically. I, I don't right. remember who invited him. He was on for like his pick aside YouTube. That's when I met him. I got to know him through the podcast. I wasn't the one who invited him. Um, I didn't so, even have a avoid so stating that he didn't have responsibility for like meeting this guy or introducing him to people. This Discord info until um I didn't even know him that well. Downplaying his relationship. I don't want to throw anyone under the bus, but one of the people that works behind Oh, so it was all someone else's fault. Shifting blame. The scenes with our podcast was like, oh, hey, Nux, Max wants to talk to you. Can you add him on Discord? And I was like, yeah, sure. I don't know. And then this happened. Um, and so it began. And then I, this just happened. It, I, it, it happened. Not I did this. This happened. I, <laughs> dude, I feel so bad for, like, corroborating videos of his in the past and... I feel so bad. I just feel so bad talking about his feelings. Not not making an actual straight up apology to anyone. Not addressing which videos he corroborated. Not stating how the mistakes happened. Just he feels bad, framing around his emotions and saying that he feels bad. Dude, Dude I'm so sorry to anyone that got hate him. because of me. So sorry that to anyone that got hate because of me. So he doesn't actually directly address anything that he did wrong. Because I corroborated his claims against people that I didn't Like, this is just the most sickening response to anything I've ever seen. Like, every step of the way, it's just dodging responsibility, shifting blame, avoiding talking about the actual issue. Look into, personally. Right. That was the but. thing, though. Like, like, Max was always a very good, um, I don't want to say manipulator, but manipulator. He, he had a lot of different, like, personas for different, like, aspects of his life. Like, I felt like I always got, like, the the Max as a person, like, a human being. Like, like, Muda also got that. Like, his real life person, like, personality was mm -hmm. so just, like, chill and laid back and everything. And then I'm sure he was like that on the podcast where he was just kind of chill or whatever. And then, like... Oh, no. Nox makes you rationally angry, okay? Being angry at Nox Taku is rational. Yeah. It's the Mama Max stuff where actually, like, making his content, he does these stupid decisions that are... In hindsight, pretty cringy. <laughs> he 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 just he can't keep himself out of controversy, and that, that's that's his problem. Um, and and he's always said like he wants to just go and hide in a hole and and just make his videos, and and he's he's just gone against that at every turn. Well, like so the controversy. And he's a manipulator, but manipulator. He he had a lot of different like personas for different like aspects of his life. Like I felt like I always got like the the max as a person like a human being like like muda also got that like his real life person like personality was mm -hmm. so just like chill and laid back and everything and then i'm sure he was like that on the podcast where he was just kind of chill or whatever and then like yeah. there's the mama max stuff where yeah. actually like making his content he does these stupid decisions that are in hindsight pretty cringy <laughs> but, uh, you just didn't realize this at the time he, he, he just he can't keep himself out of controversy and that, that's that. it wasn't about being cringy it was malicious and damaging and you supported it when it was obviously so the entire time that's his problem um and and he's always said like he wants to just go and hide in a hole and and just make his videos and and he's he's just gone against that at every turn well like so the controversies and i guess this is going to be kind of like an explanation hour right like yeah true crime podcast style you know like we're going to be looking into this case yeah. so the thing about like max is he's like a true crime content creator in a way too right like a lot Ooh, of this like asterisk like true asterisk yeah. crime <laughs> yeah exactly. it's about as true as the Great open body. hand charity so <laughs> like <laughs> Hey, hey, the Open End Charity ended up giving money to your charity at the yeah, end of the day. That's I'm just yeah, saying. Actually, I you know, tr true crime YouTubers don't generally do investigations and make allegations of their own. I think generally they, they cover stories that have happened. They don't make their own stories, I thought. That was my that was my impression. That was my impression. Actually, that's true. If we had to, like, compare them, the Open Hand Charity did give money to Alzheimer's research. If Max, Max gets still... a pedophile locked up, then he's like the Open Hand Charity. Yeah. So... Yeah. Again, for people in the true crime circuit, right, like, if I find it to be kind of a... I, I'm a conflicted guy with true crime, right? Like, I, I've i covered things in the past that are crimes and whatnot, but I usually have, like, a rule where it's like, if there's police involved and the case is going well, 
then I'll cover it, right? Because I know that at least something's happening. Um, if it's a situation that's like, like a, if if there's something that you can add to it, sure. But a lot of times I find that people who make that content just like re-victimize people that are like going through shit. Like mm -hmm. the Dahmer series came out, right? Like with Jeffrey Dahmer on Netflix. Yeah. And for me, it's like you know I watched through it, but it's like. For me, that's not the oh, kind of brother, content that Musahar, I do not care about your trigger warning re-victimization bullshit. Holy fuck. This is like the weakest criticism on Max. I usually consume because it's like, all right, I know about him. I don't need to know the gruesome, like, gruesome details about like everyone that he's killed and everything, right? Like that's not, you know, it's not something that I care too much for. But it's a big deal on YouTube. It's a big deal in the, in the world. Like people love consuming content. Max was in a type of content that was so easy to not like get screwed up in. His enemy was pedophiles, right? I think that's why so many people were on his side for yeah. as long as they were. That's why I was on his side up until, yeah. you know, all this shit came out. Because, like, he's going up against literally the worst people in the universe. And it's like, right. well, yeah, it's, it's a pretty pretty easy... Literally the worst people... Pedophiles are literally the worst people in the universe. Not, you know, genocidal dictators. Yeah, not anyone that does mass, large-scale harm. But people with a mental illness, a specific group of people with a mental illness. By definition, mentally ill people. Nice one. Love it. Easy side to take. Yeah, because it's like, you know, at the end of the day, it's... He was in a situation where if you criticized him, it was like, well, what are you doing? You're trying to, like, you know, defend, like, a pedo or something? And it's like, oh, okay. That's it's 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 just t turn brain off. Turn brain off. This is how Nox Taki lives his life. Just completely brainless. Empty empty head, no thoughts. Go through life as a drone. Say popular thing. Give popular take. Avoid accountability. Every turn. I'll just stop all critical thinking. And that's kind of where I was for a little bit too, right? Like, I'm like, oh, you know, he's like doing... Like, he's trying to stop really bad people, right? And he's a friend, so, you know, give him the benefit of the and doubt also, and call it a day. And also, you comment sections are full of, like, survivors of sexual assault talking about how these videos bring them peace. And it's like, dude, you're gonna really hate on this guy? Well... I I mean, like, like his his style... Um, I mean, it, it's a it's a cool style, but... Thank you, my close personal friend, Vaskator. <laughs> Quite chart. For the five pounds, thank you. For the subject matter, it's, it's very... It, it is a lot, but but yeah, like yeah. Nux was saying, if you go through the comments, there are a lot of people that like feel vindicated by it, and you know, I just figured like, oh, for, I mean, these are the people that he's appealing to. This is his audience, and if they're enjoying this, then I guess he's doing a good thing, you know. And and you can't argue right. with someone who I guess. Wait, do you post uh, Callum's corner like, clips goal, on like, your fucking channel, Mouse? Like, I just thing, At least it was thought <laughs> back then, you know. So yeah, I don't know. It's just it's just difficult seeing seeing someone um, that you thought you knew just come out as. Yeah. A complete fraud. <laughs> and, and I, but it, like, but, and that, and that's where like the story goes to, right? Yeah. Because so for anybody that's not knowing, in the last, uh, I want to say two to three months, there's been a story about a vampire, right? That Max was covering. Now I use Morsky vampire very loosely. Obviously, vampires are not real. You know, I think you all know this. Three. Like everyone watching, neither are werewolves, right? Um, but Max was covering a guy that uh, he alleged, not alleged, he accused straight out of running a sex werewolf vampire cult. Now, the thing about it is, is they're looking at this whole story and okay, talking to people. I don't want Mooters just recap of the Canon Gerald Davis story. This is, like, insufferable. This is totally insufferable. Let's speak that through this. By I think that there was, like, really, there was, there was illegal shit. Yeah, I like checking people's channels all the time. That happened, right? And you don't need to have a vampire call for illegal stuff to happen. You just need somebody to take advantage of someone, and that's pretty much the story right there. So in this video that Max released two months ago, he was hitting me up on Discord. And I don't know if he hit you guys up, but he said that reaction channels are about to, like, get a blow up because he's going to make a video specifically targeting them about a case. And I was like, okay, so this is something that you're in for. Cool. I'll review whatever you're sending. So this was during the time that I was covering Gerard. So, like, my my time could not be diverted from this. I was already too involved in a story. Yeah, you so I was like, right. Yeah, I was like, I'm going to look at this when I have the time. And also, it was just like, listen, dude, I'm being like threatened by like his apparently super rich family about like getting suits. So I got to make sure all my ducks are in a row. So dude, you got to give me a This was not a good minute. year for Gerards. Just Gerard, every, oh, yeah. all the Gerards came together. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, but, by the way, yeah, this guy's one of his like aliases was uh, was Gerard. So, you know, every every Gerard that I came across. Guitar and voice legit the most irritating channels because they, yeah, I mean, this my opinion as well. <laughs> it's just, why would you watch a channel that just gives you the exact comment that you're going to see most upvoted on whatever the reddit thread is about that story on that day why would you why would you go to a channel for that why do you not want something a bit more interesting a bit funny what is the point it's just total slop
Ross was just, you know, it's bad news. Loving me. Yeah, exactly. It's like, if it's one thing out of this whole thing, I never want to see the name Gerard again. Like, I never, <laughs> ever real. want to see it. Like, <laughs> like I don't give a if it's the nicest dude in the world or the greatest story. If I see that name, it's over. Like, I'm never going to have a son. His wife is going to say, I want to name him after my granddad, Gerard. No. <laughs> like, no. I, swear, I swear to God, if Jen ever brought up the name Gerard, I'm like, all right, it's, it's, it's over. It's done. Like, we're never going to have this discussion again. But yeah, so, you know, he brings this vampire cult story up and then he releases this video called Brainwash Your Favorite Influencer. Now, for anybody that hasn't watched any of this, he's deleted every single thing on this video series. Um, Rightfully so. Oh, he deleted all this stuff? Fine. Every single thing is deleted, but the YouTube shorts where he still calls the man like a sex cult leader and whatnot. Yeah, so. You can't take this stuff back. Like, <laughs> no, exactly. You can't take back a serious allegation, right? Like, that's, like, that, that, that is stupid. But this is the, this is the thing I've learned about Max is he's, he's like, he's a guy that thinks he plays 4D chess, but he's actually brain dead at everything that he does. Because he releases his video series called Brainwash Your Favorite Influencer. And the problem with it is like, he accuses this guy of a serious like crime, but he doesn't back it up with really strong corroborating evidence. Any right? evidence. Any yeah. evidence like, at all. Like, okay, okay, Ryan, when you work on a video, right, for, for your channel, and you're, I, I know that you don't cover like super duper like serious shit like this, but let's say you're covering something like, I don't know, world.com or any like video game or some creepy corner of the internet. Yeah. You, it's, it's in our job, right, to make a breadcrumb trail from beginning to end, to, to get the audience. Just to hate the way that these people get just talk about this situation as though. Like, they're holding him to account now. Like, no, dude, the, the only reason he's in the position he's in is because you propped him up. He did this because of you guys. He got to this point. He was able to do this because you guys helped him there. But they get to just sit there and just sweep it away. I'm, I'm looping at this point. I am looping. I'm 100% looping. I've said all this before. But they get to just sit there, sweep it away, pretend nothing happened. Just went, oh, I was just, we were just friends. I just trusted my friend. Stupidest shit in the world, bro. I hate Nagasaki. And, you know, everything so on and so forth, right? Right, right. If you can't do that, you're a shitty storyteller. It's like, if I'm sitting there <laughs> accusing somebody of charity fraud, I yeah. can't just say, yeah, this guy committed- microphone, shlomo. Thank you for the 1337, Anonymous. Thank you, thank you. Charity fraud, please believe me. No, I'm gonna have to show you documentation, otherwise I get laughed the out. That's what exactly. basically- that's what basically he didn't do. Max didn't provide any of that information, and that's why he's been getting ass blasted on the internet about it. Um, and rightfully so, because he's made serious allegations. But if he's not able to back it up, like, dog, the, the world's gonna shit on you. Yeah, and it's like, if you're calling someone a... Hey, oh. List these people after how much you like them, Muta, Nexpo, Nuxtaku, Mama Max, Stardust, Owenaville, Food Shop, Tom Foolery, and Blackula. How much you like them. Most liked to least liked. Blackula's top, 100%. Easy, no problem. Second, I would say Nux, probably just for the Twitch's Hentai song. Yeah. Hard because he's slightly less pathetic than Next Poe. Then Next Poe. Then Tom. Then Food Shops. Then Stardust. Stardust at the bottom. Oh, wait, where was Umperville? Umperville goes. Just above Tom, I think. I hate all these big guys less than Tom and Food Shops and Stardust. Like, the Switch Pro people hit me, get me on another level, okay? <clears throat> and Nox, look, listen, I can't, I do, I do find Nox very irritating, very stupid, very pathetic. He makes me seethe. I love a Twitch's hentai song. I love a Twitch's hentai song. Callum's Corner is the best in all of those, and his head does not look like a tic tac. I've got a bunch of Callum's Corner clips on my, uh, on my computer, actually, I think. It's just a bunch of ones of people trolling with them with donations and shit, I think, though. My head does not look like a sodding Tic Tac. A vile. That's, that's one of the most vile, like, acts a human being can, yeah. can do. It's up there with murder. And if you're going around, like, you know, just saying, like, oh, Camden Gerard Davis is a pedophile with no evidence and just expecting mm -hmm. all your YouTube friends to just run with it. Because Max was very well ingrained in the YouTube sphere. Like, he, yeah. he was good at just be, be, befriending everyone and kind of just getting buddy-buddy with everyone. And I guess he really was banking on that to, uh, to get people to just blindly believe him and spread his message. And yeah. it just it didn't work. But, and, it's, and, and, it's crazy. 200k sub channel when they've got static in the background of their fucking podcast. This is just insane. More videos on this uh, subject, and he re no. like listed all of his past videos for the last seven yeah. years. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, he, anyway, he the weirdest it, yeah. part of this whole thing to me when I first found it wasn't even that he called it brainwashing your favorite influencer. He rebrands his channel mm. to God Cult, right? He's like, he said he's trying to make a cult to destroy a cult. Like it's yeah. a weird perspective to take, right. and it's it's very artsy. And uh, I think that that ultimately became everyone's major complaint. Well, you know, aside from the you know unsubstantiated allegations, I think that was yeah. basically everyone's major complaint against this guy. Uh, turns out all of his past videos were just. We had Dono goal for the Suicide Squad game. <laughs> The Suicide Squad game will come down to how bad my impulse co control is, okay? If, uh... <laughs> and also how on Persona 4, uh, Persona 3, however, I am when it, uh, comes out of early access. Faked? Like, he says the pedophiles he accused are all real, but everything in the video is just pure fiction. 
I did want to kind of speak on, on that point though. Like I, I know I went on lyrics stream and um, I wasn't as concise as I wanted to be about this, but um, I was asked about like his his creative process, like what he does, like if I've ever seen like him catch any pedophiles or predators or, or like if I've ever seen any mm. definite proof of what he does. And I just like to say that I, I haven't. Uh, he that was one of the major complaints that I had with him um, directly whenever I was scolding him about all this crap was was that. I but you never you never thought to look into it. When you were, and you, you still went along with an allegation that he asked you Simp to breathe Man out. Super chatted five dollars. Can we get a Dono goal for Suicide Squad game? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Suicide Squad game where you want to do the past part. I, I don't believe that for a second. Okay, listen, all these Twitter retards are complaining a whole bunch. Yes, is it Goistop live service shit? Yes, yes it is. Is it kind of woke and gay? Yes, yes it is. Does the gameplay look pretty fun? Yeah, kind of does. And also, if you're complaining about Batman getting killed in a game called Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, you are profoundly retarded. You are profoundly retarded. And I mean that. I never got to, you know, get an in on his on his process. I never got to see his timeline. I never got to um, see like the the messages that he was sending predators. I, I never knew anything that was going on. It was always behind closed doors. Every single thing he was doing. And I was someone who lived close to him at one point and would go over to his house. And, and he never would let me see what he what he does. Like I would always what? ask him because I was very curious on like editing techniques and and like just different things that you know like us as like creators do. Like we, we talk about editing and shit. That's just how it is, right? But, also, but his videos look good, right? Yeah, his videos are like an enjoyable experience. I mean, if you can get bro, those, like the you know the, the creative <laughs> yeah, side. There, there were a lot of techniques that I really wanted to like get insight on, like how he does, like that, that cool like glitch effect. And stuff. It's just like crazy that. Next Probably get to sit there and be like, Yeah, I was used to questions, bro. I always used to say, You should really show evidence, Max. Or that you went along with his allegations, you were in favor of this shit, you supported this the whole time. Stuff like I, I wanted to learn how to do that, and he, he has never laughing that he does, yeah. Yeah, he, he never really let me into the process. He always does this uh, thing where, like, when I ask him a serious question or anything, like, that's not like a jokey, lighthearted content. Dude, I, I've seen the clip of how they get Superman basically. Yeah, <laughs> did I just spoil it? Does anyone give a fuck about the story of Suicide Squad? I'm about to spoil Suicide Squad. I saw it on Twitter. Okay, I'm spoiling it now. All right, Wonder Woman like flies up to him and stabs him in the chest with a uh, kryptonite, and like does like a self-sacrifice thing, and then uh, they kill him because he's mind controlled. Wonder Woman's resistant to mind control. That's like one of her powers, apparently. I guess. Thank you for the twenty-five dollars, Simpman. The uh, <laughs> the super chats don't actually contribute to the main donor goal. That is only stream elements. Is only stream elements? You people make me sick. What do you mean? Is it because I'm getting distracted on video game talk? And people are feeding my retardation. But thank you for the twenty five dollars again, Simp man. <clears throat> okay, let's uh, let's try and get back to the video. It's not magic mind control though, uh, Kenny. It's Brainiac, you know. So it's like tech shit. Experience. I mean, if you can get bro, those, like the you know the, the creative <laughs> yeah, side. There, there were a lot of techniques that I really wanted to like get insight on, like how he does, like that, that cool like glitch effect and stuff. Like I, I wanted to learn how to do that. Simp man, yeah, super yeah, chatted twenty five dollars. Yeah, never really let me into Come the process. He always does this uh, thing where like, when I ask him a serious question or anything like that's not like a jokey lighthearted convo comes up. He does this like laugh. And he's kind of just like, yes, yeah, and he's like, that laugh. Oh, you're, funny. Laugh. you're funny, or you're cute, and then and then it just we just it just moves on to a different topic because like, I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> it's just a little awkward. But... Yeah, I mean, like, how, I do know, how like, I know what you're talking about. So I spoke to him privately like the day before Muda and, and Nick Fiorio had like that whole call with him, uh, mm -hmm. and we ended off in a very different spot than uh, than uh, what happened in your call. Because when I saw your call, I I really uh, I couldn't believe it. Like I thought that he was going to be calling you to apologize. Like that, that's how I thought it was going to go. After has he ever said? Has he ever said publicly, "I'm sorry"? Yeah, no, I mean, he, he took accountability. Like, accountability yeah, but... He didn't say sorry though. <laughs> like, no, he, he, said, he, said, he did say sorry. He said yeah, sorry to Charlie. Charlie. That's it. Uh, well, yeah. Okay. I guess. Yeah. But still, like for everything else, though. <laughs> you know? No, I mean, like, but, but here's the thing. Like at this point, like since he's threatened to like him and his like you know lead witness of threatened to like so I'm like I'm gonna hey, your ball. You, you are extremely rich so I mean <laughs> yeah, I, yeah I swear to god when I was reading that shit I was like I cannot like my job dropped hearing like reading that because part of me was like I can't that's why I wrote the food I'm like I can't verify it's real so like a couple hours later like I see more screenshots I get leaked out to me it's like oh dog it's real and I'm like you dude I, I what an actual shit I could not believe that I, I was going off on him I, I was going off on him behind the scenes like of, of like how heart heartbreaking it is seeing like someone who I thought I knew like go through all this shit and do what he's doing and um how I felt like I didn't really know him at all and everything basically just you know saying like I'm done I'm out I can't help you I'm sorry what does he mean he didn't know him at all? Nexpo admitted in his call with Larix that he knew for ages that Max had been faking stuff. That Max admitted to him in a cab or some shit, saying, oh yeah, at least two of his videos were totally fake, basically. Wasn't, isn't that not the case? Am I crazy? Am I losing my mind? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that's right. 
all right, dude. Like, I wanted to keep all my shit, like, just, you know, offline and everything. And he said, um, I'm sorry, bro. I'm gonna make this up to you. Like, just please let me respond to Buddha before you make a final decision, blah, 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 blah. I didn't respond, but it was a few days later when I saw the leaked screenshots of the lawsuit. It was a bar, not a cap. I thought it was when they, when they left the bar and got the cap. He was saying they had to talk about it. That's his response. I mean, I'm not gonna. That's my understanding of the story. And this is the wildest part about it, too. Like, we and him were, like, friends at one point. So if you're saying that to a friend, imagine if you're, like, always his enemy and shit, right? Like, imagine if you're somebody that he never liked in the first place, bro. Like, it's over for you. Yeah. One of the things with like Max or whatever, this is one of the, the freakiest things that I, that I thought of in like the last couple days when I was thinking about making a response. It's like, I was just kind of sitting down and I was like, man, what if like tomorrow I get like a pedo allegation from him or something? Yeah. yeah. And I can he, literally cancel you, Charlie. I can literally I, cancel you. I'm the freaking pedo hunter. He has a pattern. Anybody that, go ahead. Yeah, no, he has a pattern of like, of leaving like ex friends with like, I guess allegations or or different uh, like like blackmail behind the scenes that that, that mm. forces them into silence to never speak up against him. And a lot of people have come forward since I Wait, put out my what? statement to open up to me. Yeah, and I'm not gonna name any names, but but basically uh, there's a pattern of behavior going on. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, they let that let that go on uh, with Max, and um, it's it's sad. That's all I got. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like this experience taught me a lot about just. No, that's not my typing. That's the 200k sub podcast with uh, YouTubers who have several million subscribers. That's on their end. That's on their, that's their failure in production, not mine, actually. Like, needing to rethink my friendships, I don't know, when, yeah. I'm, when I'm friendly with someone- like... Along with the static, along with the static in the back, the constant static in the background. And they tell me something or do something, like, just, I'm gonna believe them, just because, mm -hmm. I don't know, they're my friend, why would they lie to me? And uh, yeah. I made- Based, no editing, no, not no editing. They've got all these little gay zooms and zoom of TikTok edits. They've got all this shit going on. I made this mistake before, and, and I, like, I don't learn. I mean, I don't think it's, like, necessarily wrong to, like, you know, give your friends even, like, a benefit of the doubt, too. But the only thing that I, like, agree on is, like, I let him get too much of the benefit of the doubt, you know? Yeah. Um, especially when it comes to situations like this. Like, look, I love coffee. He's a good friend. Great person to investigate something with. But, and, and again, this is no dig at him or anything, but it's, like, even working with him on any future case or anything, I'm always going to be double-checking everything that he does. Not because, like, even just this Mac situation, but because that's just how you probably should do things, right? Yeah, like, like, I, I don't know. It's yeah. a past thing. Uh, like, there was a VTuber that uh, was canceled for allegedly mm -hmm. doing weird um, grooming type shit. And, uh, right. like, I was in a video and I was talking about it. And I, I also alleged that he did that because close friends of mine told me and I saw, you know, creepy conversations have been talking to kids. And, or, or talking about kids and you know the yeah. liking little boys and stuff like that who knows if it's a joke you know and like i, I alleged it also because a friend told me uh, and i i regret it because he, he so you're uh you're you have a severe and continuous lax lapse in judgment is that what i'm hearing from you next talking you no, i don't know you, you're routinely making the same mistakes again and again so at this point why the fuck should anyone ever listen to anything you say if it's true, he ended up coming right. back with some sort of response. I don't know this guy Bungo Taiga, yeah. and I, I apologized to him privately that that I even alleged something like that, and like because a friend told me, I believed him. Muda put out a tweet that's last night. That's the yeah. hardest part of this yeah. whole thing. Yeah, for me, like, like that tweet Muda put out last night is so true. Like, just it's hard to trust anyone on YouTube these days because I mean, like, you think you know someone and right, it's just fucking sad, dude. I mean, and, and you know, I don't want to sit here and be like, never trust your friends, but it's like you know, yeah. somebody like Max, it's like it's like maybe don't put people in your blinders because it's like really thinking about it, like we never really talked, or I talked mostly, and like I never really got anything out of him, so you know, pay attention I, to that. When shit. I talked to Max last time, uh, I told him, listen, Max, do you, do you remember the whole uh, what happened with Quite that like there were all these false allegations against Quite uh, by somebody, yeah. and then uh, there was this guy Lord Bung, a YouTuber that did like SCP content or whatever, and he corroborated all these claims against Quite because he was friends with the alleger of these claims, right? Mm. And uh, Quite ended up basically disproving everything, and uh, he was completely in the clear, and Lord Bung ended up you know deleting his whole channel, I think, because of this, and the reason why is because he took his friend at face value, and it yeah. destroyed him because he believed his friend, and I. Told Max point blank, Max, you're oh, friends with these Jesus people. Christ. You might be a Lord Bung right now. Like I right. told him that in the call, and he's like, well, you know, you, you've given me a lot to think about. And yeah, right. I gave him a lot to think about. You didn't do I anything. Hate it when that shit happened. Like when he's like, you really gave me something profound to think about. I'm like, what? Having evidence for your allegation? We, we, called, about any of this Buddha, we called him literally <laughs> yeah. right after he dropped his first videos. And we we're like, yo, what are you doing? Do not say yeah. anything until you have a full video with evidence. Oh, you've given me a lot to think about. It's coming out this Friday. Yeah, what happened <laughs> this Friday? It this never came out this ago. Friday. So, and, and this and this is like to go on to the next point. So the reason why this all escalated is like he makes his first video, the brainwashing, and the brainwashing video was about the dumbest thing you could imagine because he makes these claims. Me and Nux speak privately. And I'm sure you did too, right? I'm sure everyone did. Yeah. He did not take anybody's advice. Okay. All he did was produce another video. What happened to Mama Max? Where he responds to like. You know, some of the most like in hate criticisms. Hate yeah, it's just total COVID. It's total shifting of blame. Of a dodging cat. You guys don't get to talk about this in this way when you helped out the whole time. Oh man, it just bothers me so much. It really does just bother me. Pointless to be mad that way. It's just so pointless to be to be angry at anything like this. Exactly. It's like, a video about hate comments from back in the day. Did I fall off when children are falling into the hands of pedophiles? Yeah, so much for that. I didn't watch a single one of his videos. So much for that. Nice. Such a good impression. <laughs> but, but then, like, and then to, so to build on top of, like, what his, uh, what his video is, and then, then he makes, like, a third video. And the third video is by far the most one of egregious. the most blatant attention grabs you could ever see. So when this dropped, um, I remember the exact moment, okay? This is, like... You know, when people are like, where was I during insert national event, right? <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> so, I'm like, so I'm like driving my 
car, and I see this ping, right, from Max, because at this point I have yep, this channel that's on, what like, to me. I, ha I have this channel on, like, Google alerts, on, like, the, the bell, because I want to see the next phase of this madness. Then it's like, this is the greatest cancellation of all time, and, like, With so Charlie my phone in the is thumbnail. Sitting, Dude, my eye freaks out because it's, it's on my phone lock screen. Like, I just see this tiny thumbnail of Charlie. And, like, you know, it's just in my, like, phone charger. And I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, God. What the f*** does he have on Charlie? <laughs> what? So, like, I open up the video and it's, it's, it's not Charlie. In fact, it's quite possibly more clickbait than, like, Lispy Jimmy. Some of these, like, dog shit GTA creators from back in the day, right? Like, the worst clickbait imaginable. Uh, and so... Yeah. He covers, like, so he starts this thing off, like, basically shitting on, like, talking at channels, where he, I guess he, I guess the best way is to be, like, he's this Jacksepticeye type reaction channel, um, and he... Thank you for the 30, 13, 37 Quella. These people make me sick. Me too, me too. <laughs> Jesus. He, he's like, this is a guide on how to, how to cover serious topics if you're, like, a reaction channel. And then he, he, like, he shits on everyone covering the Sniper Wolf stuff, which, look, he, I'm just gonna say this is about Sniper Wolf, dude. She showed up to a dude's house, okay? I'm sorry, yeah. no matter what you think, there, there's some f***ed up shit about yeah, it. I, I think the whole Sniper Wolf situation yeah. was perfectly logical to be talking about as much as people did. It's a YouTuber with 35 million subscribers that's stealing content, that's showing up to people's houses. Like, that was an insane ride. I wonder what, yeah. like, how, what his demeanor would be, like, if, if that situation were flipped on Max. Like, like if someone showed up to his house and posted it on their Snapchat story and basically blasted... Well, how would you feel about it, Max? How would you feel about it? This is so gay. This sucks. I don't know how much more of this I can watch. That's 2x or some shit. I don't know. Right, let's put it back in 1.5. I can't deal with this. I really can't deal with this. Well, he would go address. hotline Miami on their ass. <laughs> I would think. I mean, that would also, it, it's a very serious yeah, you know, thing. You know like, what he would say. Who was dosed by a 35-year-old female? She's a pedophile. <laughs> 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 pedophile showed up to my house, and this is what happened. But I like, told him not to make that video, by the way. I told so, him not to. The, that Charlie, Charlie video, he, he only knew, he, he messaged it to me after he posted it, saying, let me know what you think. It's like, what kind of criticism? You already posted it. He sent, he I, sent uh, Crowley and I a work in progress, saying, let me know what you think. Any advice appreciated um, about the, the Charlie thing, like the opening sequence. And the thing about Max that really made me realize that whenever he does this shit, he already has his mind made up, is that mm -hmm. like, the video was already edited. Like, like the whole first part about him like going crazy with the fucking... Uh, accent and everything yeah and uh basically like like as, as a friend who had no idea what the fuck was going on because like i didn't i had literally zero idea what was happening um you know i was like oh i don't know man like this is kind of not the best idea uh like i'm like i i just signed um last year with with mr ballin and i i work basically under him and i can hardly get in touch with that guy like he's the busiest mother Wait, on the planet mr ballin like the true crime guy. I don't know. Okay, okay. He's got like he's around the same size as Charlie, I think. But um, I told Max, I was like, look, like he is, he's the busiest guy on earth. Like he's got his, his shit going on and everything. Like I told Max, like, like maybe Charlie's the same way. Um, I, I wouldn't come off so hard on him. But even, and if, all he's that. Not, even if he was yeah, ghosting yeah. you, you're not gonna call. Yeah. You're, you're not gonna allege someone's a pedophile. <laughs> I should have been harder. I should have been harder on him because I, I was too nice because he was like my friend and right. I wanted to just. Yeah, be like, hey, should have just been harder on him. You should have literally. You should have come out about knowing the videos were fake, ages ago. You were complicit. You were fully complicit. You worked with this guy. You suck, bro. Yeah. He's your friend. What do you yeah. do? Like, yeah. he, and then he still did it. I mean, like, the thing with, like, Charlie, and it's like, listen, I, I like, he's a busy guy. We're all busy people. But yeah. he also had, like, COVID and everything, too. And like Nux said, it's like, dude, you're not entitled to anybody's time or response, too. Like, who knows what the f is going on in their life at all, right? Like, yeah, anytime yeah. somebody doesn't respond to me, I have the same... I'm like, I want you to give me the same charitability I give you because what happens is like, I get communicated by tons of people and like, sometimes my phone, it's away from me, mm -hmm. a notification slips through. It happens even with the closest friends in my life, right? Like, sometimes I just don't see it. Also, and then I'll we let have you know. real lives same. too. Like, yeah. Yeah. YouTube is a small part of all of our lives. Since yeah. I've started like doing YouTube, God damn, almost seven years ago now. Holy shit, I need to retire. I've noticed, like, I just become horrible at responding to people in general. Like, please retire, please leave, please retire, please leave, please leave, please retire and expo, quit. Holy shit, please quit, yes. I, I'll just, yeah. I'll see shit. And, and it gets worse, though, whenever people, like, uh, spam me, like Max was doing to Charlie. Like, for some reason, I don't know why, but when people spam me like that multiple times, like, like following up about the same shit over and over and over, it just kind of pushes me away a little bit. 
and I just don't reply. No, 100%, so, same here. So, like, no. I, I'm, I'm assuming, like, you know, you got COVID and you got this guy blowing you up. It's like, dude, chill, <laughs> you know? Also, like, once you get, like, going on. three messages from somebody, you just are put off from answering them, that, right? Exactly. You get one DM, two DMs, three DMs. You have, like, 14 yeah. notifications from yeah. one person, and you just you, you, can't, you don't have the headspace to click on that, that, exactly. that notification, that message. Because then you need to answer mm -hmm. 14 messages. Uh, and yeah. I've, I've been messaged by Max before. Bro, he sends you the Encyclopedia Britannica every time he wants to let you know anything. <laughs> and, well, and, and it's not even written like a human because he puts what he wants to say into ChatGBT. So ChatGBT can, can you know, poop out the least lifelike message on the planet I can't this, this week this week i had a contact like i had a communication with my lawyer and you know if maybe one day i'll just jokingly share the email it was literally from me like it's a this is how wild youtube is for anybody watching this is like an actual company letterhead for me to the to, 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 to my lawyer and it's like hey can you challenge chat gpt in a court of law it was me just jokingly emailing i'm like hey if the situation arises could you challenge chat gpt to an international defamation trial <laughs> And that's when oh the lawyer God. goes to you. I'm like, like, how do I brighten this dude's day up real quick? I'm like, let me let me ask him the most stupidest shit. But like that that chat GPT shit is such a true thing. And that's one of the reasons why his video, like Oh, Mutan sounds like the most annoying client in the fucking world. Jesus. Now that I rewatch them, because since he's taken them off, I've been kind of like rewatching the archives I stored for my video. Mm -hmm. And it's like the whole the whole script seems like it is written by Chat GPT. Like the whole because here's the thing about these videos and why nobody took them seriously. Yeah, they're so smug and totally unearned. <laughs> Guys, isn't Max such a retard? Isn't this guy who fooled me for like three or four years such a retard? Isn't this guy who totally tricked me and made me say a bunch of retarded shit and look terrible? Isn't this guy so retarded? Don't you guys all agree? Wait. Wait. No. No, he, he owned you. Ma Mom Max actually owns you, Muta. Mom Max owns you, Nux. He covers this sex cult leader? For like two minutes out of a 20 minute video right and there's a long a big reason yeah. for that uh first of all he has no evidence so it's really hard to yeah. make it more than two minutes exactly so, but this is the thing that threw me when i spoke to him i said like dude like what are you doing when's this this actual video with evidence coming out because right now you're not just that you look like a fool but you're making everyone that's ever been friendly with you look like a fool uh and he basically said i'm I, like i still i have to wrap my head my mind max, you're hurting me max look my bottom line is getting hurt max max think of me not any of the people he maligned not any of the people he he called pedophiles, not any of the people he docks, not any of the calls to actually not any of the actual issues. What about me, Max? What about how this is affecting me, Max? He, he's taking but a Nux. bit of a... Is there someone you forgot to ask? ...diversion right now to focus on how streamers and YouTubers create their own cults. He is and like changed. the examples he wanted to give were like the the drama channels that were challenging him. He was like, yeah, he, like I'm gonna use them as perfect examples of how they are creating cults. We will take down cults and protect children. And I'm just like, what? What, what am I listening to? He, he will protect children by taking down cults. He brother. moved away like like a like a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. Um, so I haven't really seen him in person all that much. Um, but when I did, he he was definitely talking a lot more about like AI and and like like the future of humanity and like and on all these these wild topics. You know, like I didn't really question it back then and all that, but. But he has he has been going down a rabbit hole of of like AI yeah. and all that, and it's it's kind of bizarre to see this this change in him because uh, he was always so um, I guess like outspoken about his mind and like and you know pretty creative with his edits and everything and like seeing him like harp on on about AI and how like important it is and how he wants to be the first one of the first to harness the power of it and, and all these things you know do Quebble Chop videos except it's calling out pedophiles. Oh my Hear me god! Out. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him at this point. <laughs> but, 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 I do believe he genuinely does care. What, is he just crying about AI? What is this shit? Like who who gives a fuck? This is like beyond. Irrelevant. About this topic, yeah. uh, you just you went about it the worst possible way. I believe that. Listen. So at the end of the day, like, listen. As, as much of a no friend that I am to him anymore, I do care about like whatever mental state that he's going through. Because here's the thing: like, if he's if he's going down this air oh, max he's probably not like all the screws are probably as loose as they can be, and mm -hmm. that doesn't excuse his shitty behavior. But like, that does kind of shed some light onto like what. Because here's the: thing, you can believe something as stupid as what he's pushing out. Guys, think about Max's mental but, state. Like, okay. Your heart can be in the right place, but that doesn't mean and, and he, that that also means you're not doing everything maliciously. Um, you know, or at least con like consciously maliciously, right? Like you're not. You might be malicious, but he's not. He he doesn't appear to be doing this out of like some 4d yeah, chest right i, I don't like, think yeah. it's out of malice i think yeah i think it's like this weird hero complex mix you don't think it was out of malice when he accused the uh the guy who was dating his high school crush of being a pedophile you don't think that was out of malice no you don't think that was out of malice you know that allegation that you guys were backed up it's with the the fame mm -hmm. and cloud but I don't even think he realizes that's why he's doing it. I think he thinks he's doing it altruistically, the when in reality, is, he's not. 
I, I see videos like his um, the response to all the critics. Like it's like the second video I put out. What happened to Mama Max or something? And I, I feel bad for him. I feel empathy. Oh, like, Spencer. For, for, and, and like I understand his cause. And then I see the uncut slug Spencer. video that came I out. I saw that man. And I'm just like, th th those are two different people, dude. Like like you're, you're <laughs> you know, like like who is who is like the real Max here in this situation? Because like the the thing where he's talking about canceling Charlie and everything. Like I could literally cancel you, Charlie. I could literally cancel you. Like on the pedo hunter. It's like, it's like it's like bro. What the you sound like you're joking, but you're. I know you're not joking because that did not make the cut. And like you're, you're I don't know. Like, it was actually, like, you, know, it was like you know, you know what people they, they do that laugh. They say something like incredibly damning about themselves, and then they do that weird laugh. Like, mm -hmm. uh, you see, you know that famous news clip of uh, that one guy's like, oh yeah, I, I watch incest porn with the sound off because then it's just porn. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, he does this awkward laugh, and everyone's like, what are you talking? It's like, no, oh, it's just an example. It's like, okay, dude, it's not. Yeah, it's, like, no, it's not just an <laughs> example, <laughs> bro. <laughs> right? Yeah, no, but 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 I get it too because it's just with like, and and this is the other thing too. Like, he works with some of the most degenerate idiots on the internet like so this slug guy he was he was basically notified that this guy was okay okay let moot a spit all right let let moot a spit okay stand back guys all right Muta may be about to lay down some fire if it's against slug i may be able to back team Muta. was like a mercenary for views you know like he would sell you out of the slightest drop of a hat and somebody that was known to dox individuals, right? Now, I'm gonna say it like it is. He's working a super serious case. Like, a super serious case involving victimized people, right? This is not something the I real would allegation touch. Confirmation, is like this you have no confirmation. Like, you I would not never touch- real vict really victimized, you don't know that. this whole story in a million years because I'm not an expert at it, you know? Like, You're I'm not a, a cop. you pedo hunter. Yeah, like I'm not even a cop. I'm not even anybody, right? Like when I think about like a financial crime, financial crimes are easier to cover because generally there's a lot of proof to it, and there's not really, I would say, the same level of emotions, you know? Like mm -hmm. even with like the completionist yeah. stuff, right? Like I look, I would much rather be called a charity fraud than a pedo. Okay, like it's a lot easier to watch the stink of a charity fraudster than it is like a pedo, right? Like that's where I get into like the emotional side of it. When he's covering stories where he's like accusing people, like, dude, you gotta have the most solid ironclad evidence imaginable. And he didn't, he just kept making accusations. And now what's happened is he's drawn the ire of people that are relentless in, sh in shitting on him. And what's happened now is that it's gotten the girls who are in the story involved they're not able to handle like some of this internet back and forth. I mean, I know Max can kind of. You uh, know, roughly. I don't think anyone can handle what is going I, on. I mean, Max that. can handle it more so than these girls. I would say that's right? true. But, but like, also remember, yeah. Max dug his hole. All right, like dude made yeah. his bed and he's gonna lie in it. These victims that came to him, uh, well, most of them have absolutely nothing to do with all the hate that's getting sent their way. They don't even want to be public. Also, another thing it. that I thought was really fishy that I only found out way later, it's like, um, Spencer, okay. the victim that's kind of, of this so alleged long. cult that's, like, really taking the, took the reins on everything. I think took the reins to the point that she decides what gets uploaded to YouTube, which is not something that Max should have ever done. Um, I didn't realize he, she was in Max's high school, right? Didn't that come out? That, that she was, like, in his yeah. Max's sister's class in school. It's like, how can the you remain impartial like, in something like this? Yeah, but the other thing is, like, he lets the, the one of the victims stay with him, pretty much room and board. Like, there is so many ethical issues with this whole story that, like, the, the worst thing that I can ever... This has been said 600 fucking times, Mutaha. Even in your videos. What you see happening is, like, the case is not treated seriously or gets dismissed by, like, whatever law enforcement agency that can help girls like this out, you know? Right. That's the worst possible case scenario. And at that point, you can't blame anybody but Max. And, like, the biggest shit on this is this kind of content, like, this kind of, like, predator hunting shit, like, unless you're really good at what you do, like, unless you absolutely cross every T and dot every I, which, dude, most people in this sphere don't, you should never be covering it, right? So what's come out even with like Max's stuff is we've all seen like some of his like videos like IMVU, you know, characters like that he's accused in the past, like Pablo Sunny even, where he goes on like shows and lies about, you know, getting arrests, but he hasn't actually gotten a single arrest at all. Thing, I couldn't thing. believe, speaking of that IMVU thing, I, like dude, rewatching his content now, like is, is so harrowing. I don't know. It's like you see in that IMVU where he goes on this whole talk about Casey and Casey is someone who had an IMVU account who followed this Pablo Sunny guy. So he found her secret YouTube channel because it had the same Naruto profile picture as she did. And he managed to hack it to get to the unlisted videos. And the unlisted video was a video of basically her, her video saying, uh, here's where you yeah. raped and killed me. And there's like a bloody blanket in the forest. And then he ends up on some Discord interview and they're like, oh my God, so Casey Died. That's crazy. And he's like, no, don't worry, she's okay. Yeah. Like, wait, who is this? Did you just create this entire person in this whole narrative just to make your video look edgy and, and badass? That was a whole like, like what five minute section of that video or ten minute section of the video. And yeah, that was like a massive just... part of yeah, the video. Yeah, re rewatching. So, sorry. What? What? I thought I thought you guys never watched these videos. I thought you never watched them. You know, they you start hating this guy, right? Obviously, and it was just 
fabricated. Like just hearing his words, like his disclaimer, while the narratives may be crafted in fiction, the pedophiles are real. And it's like, you don't even know what that means. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's like are you gonna like cover it? Like, are you gonna blow up? Also, I never watched any of this guy's videos. So I was re watching his videos the other day. Okay, buddy. All right, buddy. Somebody's face, but then like fake the evidence. Like, what does that, <laughs> like, what does that actually even mean? Like, it's so outlandish. And, and you know, ultimately, at the end of the day, look, like, I, I don't know if he's ever really gonna come back from any of this. Like, I don't know if you can come back from this, right? Because the bridge is already burned, you know? Right. Um, Max, I don't know if you. Anything online until uh, the person he is alleging is in prison, or he should just never come back at all. Like, there, there is no redemption unless this person that he's alleging to be evil is proven evil. Uh, yeah. But even if he's proven evil, it's like, dude, no, he's still, yeah. He doesn't, you know, make this, all yeah. the sins go away, okay? He still handles this horribly. He's still, like, you know, I, 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 Every other case that he's done that was totally fabricated. The worst thing about betrayal is betrayal doesn't happen from enemies, okay? Shit happens right from the inside, dude. But, yeah. you know, ultimately it is, it is, it is like, it, it's, it's, it's the bed that he's made for himself, and ultimately nobody else can, you know, uh, nobody else can fix it other than him. I think, uh, I think Boots is spitting. I think Boots is spitting here. Which I hope that, like, maybe he does fix it, maybe, like, but the more and more shit that comes out of this, the more and more stuff daily that's coming out of it, I don't really, I don't see this ending in a good way, you know? Like, I don't see this ending in an overly positive manner anymore, because, you know, he just things up too much. He also made and, an enemy of everyone. Yeah. Like, like I, 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 they do the whole Charlie cancellation shit when I saw that, I'm like, dude, you, like, I'm like, man, I, I just don't even understand how you can, like, say that even, like, behind the scenes. Like, and, and I watched the whole, like, sweat thing. It didn't appear, like, you know, overly out of context or anything, right? Like, mm -hmm. oh, you know, he made them, even if it was, like, out of context, it's like, th think about that statement for a minute, right? Like, I could cancel you. So either you have shit sitting in your like dossier and you haven't released that so you're basically holding on to like an actual like Dude, I, think I think you're forgetting something very very important here Muda. what he doesn't need evidence okay thank you for the 499 love machine at the end when they talk about ai muta admits he uses chat gpt to write scripts off they criticize max today yeah, so he doesn't have anything on charlie because he doesn't think evidence in his taking accountability video he's like god 2024 you need evidence now but like, all you gotta do, go, to, go to a rando ask them hey can you make a send me a dm about charlie and just you know make a testimony and i'm gonna craft a narrative around it i'm gonna make a whole video i'm gonna come out and use your single testimony as my evidence to, to, take, to take charlie down <laughs> so. he's like, don't worry i'll get a 30 minute video because i have four cases to kill oh god dude, dude like and, and and the thing about it too is like he, he knows better bro like this yeah, he knows he does. better he does. And and he that, just that's, does this. That's, the, that's the most disappointing part of all of this is like like knowing him as max like the the dude who like goes to fucking rock climbing with me goes to the gym we go get some fucking lunch whatever you know like knowing max face to face man to man seeing him do this crazy weird off the rails shit it's like exactly he knows better. Like like we, we shouldn't have to babysit this guy to, to keep him on the right track. You know, he yeah, should know better. Yeah. And, and it's, it's disappointing, bro. It's disappointing seeing him do this shit. But I mean hey, you know, he 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 made the better Love Other than that though, now that the whole Lisa situation is shattered four dollars and ninety nine cents. At the end when they talk about AI Mutu admits he uses chat GPT to write his scripts after they criticize Max for doing it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. How does he like dude, dude okay so actually another thing before we finish it when he asks it's like i just needed somebody to give advice dog nobody should have to give you advice on providing corroborating evidence this is like something everyone but also knew. everyone did give you advice even yeah. in his take accountability video uh he said i made a different video and showed it to a lot of people and, and some people liked it and didn't so now i'm making this one i also showed it to a lot of people bullshit he didn't show this to anyone that told him to post it aside from maybe he's like you know it's, it's like, like you, you need to have the 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 eye for, for stuff like this like, like like people shouldn't be making the decisions for you like i shouldn't be telling you yeah that's good that's good you should go ahead and post that and then you post it like no you ultimately at the, at the end of the day need to be making that decision for yourself yeah, and also you not victims that you've taken under your wing yeah they, you Who's, they don't know how to do youtube they don't know what they're doing not yeah. blaming them for not knowing what they're doing, but they don't have a platform of 800,000 people. Yeah, but, but and, and look, at the end of the day, too, that's the other thing, like, that I had an issue with. He's like, I'm giving them my platform. And a lot of it is always, the thing about hiding behind criticism, the part of that call that still flashbangs me is like, when he just steps back and it's like, hey, Spencer, can you let Muda know how you felt? I'm like, what the f***? Like, wait a minute, I, I what saw do you that. mean? God. I'm like, don't do that, Jesus Christ. And, and look, I have no ill will against any of these people that are, like, in his camp. Look, I get it, you know, you've been through some wild shit and you probably don't like it if like there's somebody you know cross-examining you. you yeah like i feel bad cross-examining people which is why i don't cover shit like this okay like you gotta have somebody that's like laser focused that like knows how to treat these situations properly and, and like knows the questions to ask i let emotions take over which is why i don't cover shit like this i'm not gonna cover a story that i don't fully understand and whatnot and i don't really feel that i can emotionally understand because it's like dude, all i'm gonna do is like end up feeling really bad for every party involved and it's gonna take away any form of me critically thinking that's why i don't cover it that's why it's like it's just it's, a, it's an entire aspect it's an entire part of the reason why like you know i always hand it off to somebody that is better than me at that shit simple mm -hmm. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't really know how to, how to do that. He, he no. just wants to take everything on and, and uh, you know, blow up. I think for him, what's, what's more important is like the popularity that comes out of the cloud yeah. that can be gained. Um, I think that whole, I think the way that he's interacted with some of his like friends, me, you, whatever, the way that he jerks off Charlie, I'm gonna say like there's the way that he jerks his dude off versus me and you or anybody nuts is so different, okay? Like he can be standoffish with us, but man, the way that he, the, 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 the faux respect that he has for Charlie in the situation is insane. And like, the other thing is like, look, I love Charlie. But also what the thing is, is in private, when you know, <laughs> things aren't getting recorded and whatever, he, he's yeah. the nicest, most understanding guy in the world, right? You'll criticize him and I'll say, you know, Listen to these narcissists, bro. They, they hear someone else getting the exact same jerk off that they get from everyone. And they're like, wow, you're really jerking this guy off. Dude, this is what everyone does with you guys. You were the most, you were the biggest drones in the world. Like, and all your fans are too. It's insane. Thank you so much for bringing this to my attention. I didn't look at it from this perspective. You've given me so much to think about. Mm -hmm. When someone tells that to you, what, you're going to keep dogging on him? It's like, oh, oh shit. He's like, wow, this guy accepted the criticism. Everything's going to change. Yeah, he's learning. I think, you know? I, out of everything, like, I, I genuinely wonder 
if this situation would even be all that different, had Charlie responded and said, yeah, of course, like, come on, I'll make a video, have all the survivors come on and, you know, tell their story. No, like, this would be different any further. It wouldn't be different, because there's no evidence. One, well, I remember one clip where he's like, Charlie, you have time to play video games, you have time to talk to me. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, saw that. Just, I see you playing Red Dead Redemption right now, Charlie. Just, like, just, 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 imagine this, yeah, just imagine, like, the thought process. Okay, let's, let's imagine this is a universe where Charlie's like, all right, we're in the middle of Remnant 2 and he brings him on, okay? So it's like, what does he expect the outcome is going to be? You think Charlie's going to bring him on? Like, what's up, everybody? Me here today, playing Remnant 2. Also, we have Max here joining us to discuss. <laughs> the entire in like, two minutes, they close the call. <laughs> like, he's going to be sitting there playing Red Dead 2 or some shit, or Power World or whatever, and he's going to be like, all right, uh, by the way, audience, he's going to interrupt Max in the middle of this explanation and be like, and like, explain the game to somebody else. Like, you know, I'm just going to shit show this appears to be. It's just like, I don't understand. And it's like, even look, I love Charlie. Yeah, what's the difference between Charlie and the situation? What's he like, a cop? No, he's another guy that makes YouTube videos. You know, at the end of the day, he's just going to tell you what I've been telling you. Take this to the authorities. But also, you think it's going to be enough? Dude, when, when Max said in his call to you that, like, well, then why don't you take over this investigation? It's like, first of all, what the? Why is this your plan? You're, you're now going to pick up the potato that he dropped on the floor after running over with his car? Like, how? Uh, yeah. He expects you to take That's what he would have done to Charlie. Okay? Yeah, yeah, you might have been called Charlie, and Charlie would have been like, Oh, you're doing a really horrible job about this, my guy. And he would have been like, Oh, well, why don't you take over? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, the response is like, If you're so good at it, why don't you do it? Like, even in the call with him, he's like, I am the first one in, but I'm not going to be the only one. I'm like, No one has to be the first person spearheading it, dude. You know why I didn't jump in? Because it's a stupid idea to get behind right now, because you got no evidence, dude. And like, he could have yes. said no. Like, he could have just said, sucks, No, there's not enough evidence. Sucks. The story doesn't hold all that much weight. On to the next case. Yeah. 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 Dealt, dealt with it with the police. Or at least in his video, he could say, Hey, we're looking for survivors of an alleged sex cult run by allegedly this guy. We don't know if it's true. We're gathering evidence. Like, yeah. that would have been totally fine. That would have been completely okay. And, you know, I mean, even had the same. I mean, like, that's what I did. Like, yesterday, I was like, Hey, we're investigating Omnia Media. Did I accuse Omnia Media of, like, any crime or malfeasance. I was just like, we're investigating them for a potential issue. If you're a victim, or reach out to me via DMs, email, whatever, right? That's all you have to do. You can you can ask for like a victim, or if you if you believe they're victims, without direct accusations because you're just investigating something. Now look, at the end of the day, an investigation can come out completely false. You might change your facts, or not change facts, but you might change your opinion based on the facts that are presented because it's an evolving thing. And that's all that had to happen. No, he just had to jump in because again, I guess he must believe. He either has to believe this, or you know, he just maybe there is some really sinister shit going on between Max Spencer and like this alleged cult dude. And that's really all that comes out to. And look, the audience has watched all the coverage on this so far, dude. No matter how comprehensive a video you make, there's so little facts that people walk away from this wondering what the. That's why he needs to keep fluffing it up, talking about other cults and cult psychology. How YouTubers are making cults and these cults and those cults because yeah. that's the content. There's no actual content or you know evidence against whatever he's alleging. Yeah. You know what? Saying. YouTubers, YouTubers are cultists. Okay, there True. are cult aspects to YouTube. Okay. Look at this amazing comment, dude. Look at this. Look at this. Pedophilia is an act. It's a paraphilia. You're looking for the term child rape. Why does next point not know the not know the basics? <laughs> oh brother, that's epic. That's freaking epic. Mod this guy. Does Nox think is he's the same guy? Does Nox think the pedophilia is child right now? Oh, huge Thank the Lord no Umba. Finally a good podcast. These are epic comments, dude. Holy. Tell me that Muta and Nexpo could even finish Max's videos due to cringe isn't hilarious. Beyond parody, I like Muta, but you're talking about crossing your T's, dotting your I's. I thought Max was just a parody. Then he called himself Mama, pre promising to protect his audience. Okay, bro. All adults can tell this is a cringe lob. He's preying on vulnerable children financially. It's the whole point. Fulfills his two goals, money and narcissism. And you guys signal boosted it for years. Max is profiteering off the suffering of children who have already been through too much. I'd have more respect if these guys acknowledged the sound that Sam's personal connection to him, no adult would take this seriously, and um, Max was profiting off children. I mean, this guy's just straight spitting. That guy's just straight fucking spitting. Sure, like, help. Yeah. And you know what? If you would have made the video from the get-go saying, we're talking today about why you shouldn't trust your favorite influencer because people, you know, there are people are like cults. Like, that would yeah. also be fine. You know, an educational, spooky video on that topic. That's also cool. But like, don't, don't yeah. use a, you know, pedophile hunt as a stunt to promote this documentary about cults. Right. The, so I, I have a really uh, mixed feeling um, and I think it's just because, you know, like when I think of Max and like our, our broken friendship now, that's that's over. I think like, you know, it's like, a, it's, it's like breaking up with someone, you know, it's like you think of all the good times you had and all that, right? But like hearing his Patreon response immediately after all this shit happened, like he sounds f***ing exhausted. Like he sounds like he's not sleeping and he's going off about this like conspiracy stuff about like destructive, powerful forces and everything. And like, I, I'm afraid that he's going down like this, this, this oh, my God, for you. don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> just shit that was straight into my earbuds, bro. Oh my God. But like, no, like but, hearing uh, that shit, I'm like, dude, I don't know like what, like, like how he's doing, you know, but I mean, he, look, he does I, his bed, man. He does his great. Yeah, his, yeah. Listen, mental health for him. I definitely think that there's a screw loose and, you know, I can't speak to him anymore because he's no name towards me. But like yeah. his content and the three minutes, the teaser that I saw on Patreon, it really felt like it was, you know, like you guys know the QAnon shit, right? Like the yeah. pedophile cabal. It really felt like it was just QAnon stuff. Like I was watching like somebody fall into the QAnon like pipeline and like in his, in his Patreon video, he says that powerful forces are shutting him down. Like, I mean, it's, it's unhinged. It literally is a definition of what is like what you would say is unhinged. So, yeah. you know, people that are sitting there and, and criticizing him for all of the shit that he's doing, you know, it doesn't come out of nowhere, you know? Like, mm -hmm. it, it, this, none of this shit is coming out of nowhere. None of this, like, fear is coming out of anywhere. And yeah, sure, he made his bed, and, you know, it is what it is, but do I wish the best still? Yeah, sure. Do I want him to, like, get out of whatever crap that he's in? Sure. So, I do feel I bad for him. Yeah. Like, I, I feel betrayed, but I also really do feel bad for him. And I do yeah. want justice to come to the people that are wronging people. Like, if this okay. guy that he's alleging is a pedophile, if he actually is a pedophile, God, I hope Leviathan's come for him. Like, I, honestly, it's... 
Yeah. Just a heartbreak situation, time, man. Sucks. Just that sucks. sucks. I hate these people. I hate these people. I hate these people. Um, Last I watched these podcasts, they're not like they cover more, like, stuff, right? like, they're, yep. they're covering like goofier shit. I don't think Ethan and like you know, he doesn't want to bring his team on. Like, all right, they're gonna talk about like vampire sex cult leader. Okay, like he's not a yeah. true crime podcast. What's he gonna no. do? Same with Anthony Fontana. Like, what the fuck is he gonna do? Like, review your review Drake's new album anyway. If any of you know about any vampire sex cults, yeah. And then like you know, the only one in that list I could have said something was probably like Philip DeFranco because like Philip DeFranco will cover serious shit. You know, like I don't know if he still would do that. Like PewDiePie, what's PewDiePie gonna say? And then he's doing Japanese vlogs. Yeah, he's doing He's doing a vlog. He's having a good time. Anyway, bro, before we stop, ten X P, please. Yeah. But like, like, and then like, so continue on with the Martin Luther King. Oh like, God. So, yeah, so I tell him like, you can't keep doing this and just spearhead this whole thing, messaging all these people, telling them that they, they, they have this moral imperative to actually cover all this stuff. And uh, he sends me the wildest analogy in the world. Okay, let me actually read it off to you because it's even weirder than you think. Um, your point is well taken. Though often frowned upon initially, pressuring public figures has historically been an essential tool for social change. Martin Luther King Jr. faced significant opposition. He was frequently arrested, and actions were considered radical during his time. Yet it was this pressure that contributed to the transformative change in civil rights. Now, while that is true, um, I don't think Bro should be calling himself the next Martin Luther King. Um, well, you gotta ask like, what would oh, Dr. God. King do in this situation? So you know? I brought this up in the call. I said when you sent me that message, I was like immediately turned off from your cause. Like because you realize the major difference between you and Martin Luther King is the fact that um, he's saying things that no one else is willing to say. You're saying pedophile is bad and then accusing people of no evidence. Like that, that is not the same thing at all. Yeah. Like, yeah. How can you even compare these two? And he's like, oh no. <laughs> Start talking about power world scene. I'm gonna lose my mind. He does allow. He does the <laughs> he laugh. Does the laugh you know? He's like, I just like Martin Luther King so much. I'm like, yeah, okay. I'm like, yeah, oh I like Martin God. Luther King too. I wouldn't equate Chris Hansen's work to him. Like, it's a pretty big difference. But you know, it, but, like, but I think it does sort of show the head headspace just a little bit. Like, he it's really like thinks he's. Complex, it's, it's almost a martyr yeah. complex too. Like yeah. every YouTube video being made against him, there's part of his brain saying, "I am dying for your sins, my children." You know? and, yeah. Uh, like, I, I think he still doesn't realize that. Especially in the beginning, all the criticism he's been getting was legitimate criticism make, because people wanted him to cover the story right. People did not want this he, to happen. He has had advice. So when he told you, Mudahar, that it would have been nice to get advice. This static is just atrocious, dude. Holy fuck. Advice. He got advice. He just didn't listen to it. He already had his mind made up at every turn. He got so. the advice that he got advice from me that he didn't want, you know? He didn't yeah. want to he he didn't want to hear what he wanted to, and that's what really spiraled into the situation. He's asking you for advice, it. but in actuality, he just wanted you to make a video telling people to subscribe to him. Yeah. And you know, our thing is like, dude, we can't just cover this shit without ever having true, honestly got evidence. Like what the <laughs> And you know, look, at the end, I hope that maybe can't cover this shit without having logistical evidence. This time. This time. This last time. This very last time. You didn't do it. Yeah. Every other time, though, you were totally fine covering it and backing up without evidence. What I have here is, like, the craziest story of, like, Max doing, like, reverse Uno and being like, Listen, guys, see, I got to talk about something fucked up, and now somebody actually got arrested. See, I was, this is my plan all along. Dude, like, honestly, maybe. I would be okay with that. I would be okay yeah. with that. I would still, still, still like, like yeah. handle it horribly. What if he pulls, like, a, you know, 4D chess light Yagami move, you know, Among Us uh, post-gameplay moment, and he's like, You all talked about it. I now have 1,000 victims at my disposal. <laughs> like, I would just sit there and be like, I mean, I still don't agree with you, but, like, just because I pity you at this point, like, sure, I'll let you walk away. It's like the Canada on Strike episode from South Park, right? Like, eventually you just kind of concede and give them a little, like, yeah, you give them a little leeway and it is what it is. But, you know, one of the, one of the other, like, lighthearted things, though, that I wanted to get into, and this is, like, this, this is a topic that burns people, or it, like, you know, is indifferent. And it's actually lined up with the massive use of ChatGPT by Max. So, what are you guys' thoughts on AI and shit? Like, you guys think it's gonna, you guys think it's okay as creators to use a little bit of AI, or you guys just, like... So they cry about AI and Pokemon and shit for a while, so let's go to the last five minutes and we'll start to get this. Good so, Pokemon get that. I do. But there is, it's Power World, dude. But, but oh, it's the Power World, that's the problem. Yeah. Your childhood, okay? Yeah. yeah. And at some point, exactly. you just have to like you have to come to terms with your childhood and realize that your childhood. Sucks. You, you want to know what's, what's <laughs> honestly terrifying? The fact that Pokemon <laughs> Emerald still gets more views on YouTube than Pokemon Scarlet and Violet speaks magnitudes. Look, when we were kids, those Pokemon games had a mystique, had an aura around them. They had some love and passion put into them. Mm -hmm. Now it's like now it's just every time I load it up, like it almost feels like more creatively bankrupt than a Ubisoft game. You know, yeah. like it's just it, it, I don't know what they're going for. Boots making an interesting point here. I've got to say, crazy how it's not a bunch of women talking about how pedos are the worst people in the world, where girls have often been molested as kids way more often. Seems like it's just a bunch of virtue signaling. Protesting too much, maybe. Cur that is curious, isn't it? It's very curious. <laughs> it is very curious. It is interesting how every time I, you know, make my little pedo defense arguments, most of the time, other than a couple of times where I'm upset <laughs> with the women, generally, the women are, are on my side. <laughs> and they probably, yeah, exactly. Yet all the 18-year-old males in commentary are very concerned with whether older people older than them are fucking women of around their or girls around their age. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. For I don't know the but maybe that's the audience that's buying it, right? Like kids. Like kids are look, kids don't give a shit about quality, I guess. For them it's like, you know, throw ball, capture Pokemon, fight gym leader, move on. And maybe that's why this game sells, because the people that are buying it are our age brackets. So we're like, you know, we like we like Pokemon, but maybe a little maturity involved into it, you know? So and yeah, that's the last, why last Pokemon I played was like a Sword and Shield. And when I, when I loaded that one up, I was so excited because it was gonna be the first one I played since I was like middle school or whatever. And mm -hmm. it just wasn't the same, bro. I don't know, I couldn't really describe it. Like it just felt kinda of bland and like I remember like walking to like the open fields and everything, I was just kinda of like, man. The one open field is dangerous field. territory body. No, it's just true. It's just true. The teenage male audiences are fueled into a further about, you know, fucking, who, who's fucking girls their age because of an anxiety. It's just facts.
It's okay. It's okay. They need to admit they feel that way. That's the reality. <laughs> Stop pretending that it's because of some genuine moral <laughs> crusade. I'm just fucking with the ugly arms. I'm just going to try to explain that to me. Power the biggest slop litmus test ever. That is just so true. That is so true. Yeah, oh, 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 I didn't know that. So there you go. Yeah, I, I stopped playing it because I was so bored. Oh, dude, but when I load that game up, I'm like, bro, this is a cell phone game, dude. Like, at what point are we like, <laughs> like, you know, and that's why, like, I'm like, dude, I can't support a company that's like this, like, creatively lazy. Like, think about it, dude. Again, I'm like, dude, I, this is the same system I played Breath of the Wild on. Like, and then this yeah. is Pokemon Company just shitting this <laughs> game out, not giving a crap. But you know, how worlds come in, absolutely destroy the charts. And uh, I don't know if it's gonna last for a month or whatever. Maybe it's like a meme game, but even then, it's like it still lasted for a whole month. And but it also just goes yeah. to show that the same exact formula as Pokemon, even without the nostalgia, if you just innovate it a little bit, it really has a chance. Yep. Yeah, it does. And ultimately, that's all it comes out to. So you know, honestly, man, ending it off on this note is a bit more of a palate cleanser. I'm glad this whole episode wasn't just about like Max and shit. Max, I hope you end up getting yourself well together. We all do. Um, you know, it takes takes some time to learn. And uh, what we also have learned is, if you are a game developer, you can use AI. Maybe <laughs> allegedly, you can shit out. A you, you can put together five of your favorite games, put it on Steam, and make millions of dollars, and <laughs> no one truly gives a shit. Case but, point. Also, I, I am, once again, I, I personally am so sorry for taking people at face value, and um, because of that, causing any hate to go anywhere. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. really not cool, and uh, I'll, I'll try to be better at yeah. that in the future. Guess, it you know. doesn't take specific accountability for anything. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just so sorry. No, I, think we all, I think we all have done the best that we could in, in, in a shitty situation, and, uh, you know. Uh, I will always, even for, like, if I, if I wasn't already questioning vampire werewolf cult leaders, I'm going to be questioning them even more and stuff, too. Yes. And, look, yeah. this is the thing I want to also end on, since I know that at this moment people might not be listening in. I think this whole thing sounds like Twilight, bro. Like, it's from Twilight. People were talking oh, that, about Twilight. That, that was Final the target Fantasy audience. House. Like, that's I look up Final Fantasy House yeah. slash Supernatural. It's just hilarious to me. People be like, oh, Game Freak haven't innovated in years. Game Freak have never innovated. And then they'll, they're like, oh, but, but this game that is exactly like every other survival game that's been released in the last five years, this is really innovative. This is crazy stuff. It's like... No, dude, I, I played Ark. That was shit, too. The Chinese version isn't any better. Genshin Edition is not better. Natural ARG, like the Supernatural TV show? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm They're making a comparison. Right. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. The Final yeah. Fantasy house, holy shit. Yeah. So I haven't dug too much into that like whole aspect of things, but I saw people like throwing that theory out there, and I was like, that's actually interesting. You know, like to read into. Yeah. That's literally. Yeah. Wait. We're talking oh, that, about that that's what I said. For, like, if, I, if I wasn't already questioning, is that not what I said? I'm gonna be questioning them even more and stuff too. Yeah. And, like, is that not my comparison? Since I know that at this moment people might not be listening in, I think this whole thing sounds like Twilight, bro. Like it's Twilight. People were talking oh, that, about that, that's that like was Final the target Fantasy audience. House. That's that's my comparison. I said that. Like that's a Final Fantasy House slash Supernatural ARG, like the Supernatural TV show. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm. They're making a comparison. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. The Final Fantasy House. Holy shit. Yeah. He, he just said ARG as well. He 100% just... He, next po watch my shit. Next po watch my fucking... Next po, listen to me. Next po. Next po. I'm coming to... <laughs> well, I'm gonna get banned. I'm gonna get banned. I'm actually gonna get banned. <laughs> okay, let's listen to this. What do you say? That was the target audience. Like that it was like a Final like, Fantasy come down. slash Supernatural ARG, like the Supernatural TV show. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm. S they were making the comparison. Ryan. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. The Final yeah. Fantasy house. Yeah. Holy shit. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I haven't dug too much in, into that like whole aspect of things, but I saw people like throwing that theory out there, and I was like, that's actually interesting. You know, I like to read into. Well, before we end it, there's one good video on Final Fantasy House. I think the only video on the topic is by Frederick Knutson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interested. Dude, absolute legend. It's not the only video on the topic. But uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this has been, you know, me, Nexpo, and Nux. And hopefully you enjoyed today's podcast. Yeah, I saw people throw out a theory. All right, Nexpo. Say my name. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. That's some funny stuff. That's a little bit epic. That's a little laugh. Like your smaggle voice calls you and say it. Next, Paul. I hope you catch that. <laughs> Next, Paul doesn't have kids, does he? So that's just a joke. That's pure comedy. That's pure comedy. <laughs> I hope they get. <laughs> that's pure, it's pure comedy. That's satire. I'm playing off of a smaggle bit. Okay, it's all comedy.